Okay, let's make a start. We're here in 3D Studio Max to set up our linear workflow. So this is step one. The first thing that's really important to do is make sure that we're working in real world uh, units. So if you go to Customize Unit Setup, it's important to make sure that your system unit setup is set up to something uh, that makes sense, so a real world measurement, so whether that's uh, feet, inches, miles, uh, millimeters or centimeters, I mean we tend to work in uh, metric, but I'm sure if you're in America then uh, the imperial measurements uh, will probably make more sense, but uh, let's just set that to millimeters. Essentially it's just a case of making sure that that is a real world uh, unit of measurement. The reason we do that is to ensure that the light and the materials respond in a physically accurate uh, manner and uh, so that's that's the important first step. The next one is to tell 3D Studio Max that we're working in uh, this 2.2 Gamma setup so if you go to customize preferences Gamma and LUT um, here we're going to set up our, uh, our preferences for um, 3D Studio Max so uh, what you need to make sure, first of all, is that you enable gamma and LUT correction, which is lookup table correction. Set the gamma to 2.2. Uh, then uh, tick both of these boxes, ma materials and colors, affect color selectors and affect material editor. We basically want the materials in the material editor and the color selectors to be using this 2.2 gamma uh, correction. Finally, uh, the bitmap files. This is to do with the files that come in and out of 3D Studio Max. So firstly for input gamma we want to set 2.2 because we want the images coming into 3D Studio Max to be corrected uh, using that gamma. For the output we're going to set that to 1.0. Uh, we don't want the gamma to be burnt into the images because later on we're going to save that out uh, as a HDRI file and we want to keep as much of that uh, beautiful colour information as we can so we don't want to burn the gamma in. That's essentially all we need to do uh, to make sure that 3D Studio Max is working in, in that linear physical uh, workflow and uh, the next stage will be to set that up uh, in V-Ray.